but it made 731 horsepower NA on a break-in run. Yeah, that, that's healthy for sure, but obviously turbos are where it's at. So the turbo kit clearly is a packaging nightmare in this car. Can you talk to us about the idea around the turbo installation? Yeah, so the turbo installation on this car is extremely unique. We encountered a range of difficulties putting it where we did. The first of which, it's in the rear of the car. It's actually right behind your butt where the driver sits. Um, this car is also a blown diffuser, so you have the exhaust coming out the diffuser, and the turbos are mounted as low as they can go because the engine, the torque tube, the gearbox, and the turbos are some of the heavier components on the car. So the best thing to do is if you can't get it towards the center of the car, get it as low as possible. Is there any disadvantage in terms of the distance for the exhaust manifold run to the turbochargers and then obviously charge pipes back to the engine? Any disadvantage there in terms of boost response? Zero. Absolutely none. Our driver, we actually made a joke to him the first time we took it out. We're like, how's the lag? How's the lag machine? Because that's all our Instagram was full of when we first built it was lag machine, boost tomorrow, Bluetooth boost. From our perspective, zero boost lag. Zero.